More complaints coming in alleging patient dumping hasn't let up since our first report on the issue last June. In fact, we don't have enough time to detail the stories coming from Wayside Missions COO of patients being dropped off there in bad shape, still in need of medical assistance. But we are getting much more of the hospital side of this now as we continue following up on our troubling troubleshooter investigation. There's a lot going on outside University Hospital, a level one trauma center, medical helicopters, ambulances, police, even arrests. But on October 4th at dusk, something else caught the eye of an arriving ambulance crew. Me and my partner was like, look out the back window. Um, they just dumped that guy over there. I see him laying down and I'm like, oh my God, they just dumped that guy on the side of the road and just left. The EMT who came to us doesn't want to be identified out of fear she'll be fired. She described a scene similar to the one I recorded in a previous report where an elderly woman was escorted by security off the university hospital property after she said they refused to treat her for COPD and she couldn't breathe. I think it was like four security guards and then like one Louisville Metro Department of Corrections officer because he had the LNDC on the back of his on the back of his vest and then they were all walking him out. She had a patient to attend to but snapped a photo. And by the time I come back out and we go down the road they're already walking away from the guy and the guy's just laying face down on the road. The photo shows the person on the sidewalk south of the emergency room entrance near Hancock and Chestnut, a less visible site than the incident we recorded in our previous report a block north of the ER at the busier intersection of Hancock and Ali. After a University Hospital employee told us security wheeled an elderly woman there, dumped her on the sidewalk and left her like this. The man on October 4th lied there until the EMT returned from another run, brought him some food and drink, then got sent on another run. He was wearing like a, I think a hospital gown and some shorts, and then he had a hospital blanket over top of him. He was laying face down. I mean, he was asleep just right there on the concrete. I mean, I was just like, holy crap, how can you treat a person like that? I mean, how can you just toss him to the side of the road? December 13th. I spot this man in the same spot at Hancock and Chestnut with hospital scrubs under his clothes. People walk by like he's part of the sidewalk. Sometimes they stop and stare. Did you just go to the emergency room? What's wrong with you? Did, did, they, did they kick you out? Why? What'd they say? He has what appears to be a hospital bag next to him with his name on a barcode and his stuff inside. Is your name Charles? Charles Woods? Did they walk you out of the hospital over to here just now? Can you tell me what's wrong? The despair and tears on his face tell me that's a dumb question. A lot is wrong in Charles Woods' life. I honestly don't know what to do, so I call Wayside Christian Mission. They respond within minutes, telling me they're used to this. I hate to say it, sometimes the hospital puts them out here and they have nowhere to go. You're going to take them down? Yeah, yes sir, we're going to take you down to shelter down. So come on, let's get you off the street. Right. Let's get you off the street. Uh, you want to go in? No, he doesn't. After a long lobbying effort, Charles Woods refuses to go to the shelter. Sleeping bag inside. So they do what they can. And we have sleeping bags for them so they don't freeze out here at night. Anything that we can do to help the ones on the streets that don't want to come into the shelter, we'll provide things for them. Now you know this guy you said? Yeah, I know Charles I see Woods, him I looked at his... Yes. I see him around a lot, but he's one of the guys that just won't come in, you know, but we try as much as we can to help him out. Literally, at the same moment, I receive an emailed response from University Hospital to my questions about all this. U of L Health cares for anyone who comes to our emergency rooms. In the last year alone, U of L Hospital cared for more than 3,200 patients believed to be among the unhoused population. Many were seen dozens of times, and some more than 100 times. One individual more than 200 times in a single year. If medical care is not needed or no longer needed, we offer to connect them with community resources. When individuals without a medical need refuse community support and refuse to leave, there is no option left but to help them off the property. So we're in a situation where the hospital can't take him. He didn't want to go with you, so what do you do? 
I just try to make, I just try to provide them everything the Wayside has to offer someone on the street. Most homeless shelters, including us, do not have medical personnel on staff. We can't uh, help someone who needs medical attention. The problem Wayside Mission Chief Operating Officer Nina Mosley has continued to have since our first report in June is multiple hospitals sending patients to the shelter who still need medical care. They had an Uber driver take him over to the shelter and that gentleman was in terrible shape, could not care for himself any way, shape or form. Um, to be quite honest, by the time he got here, he had bled all over the back seat of the Uber. She says they often call EMS and send the patients right back to the hospitals. You know, we just hope that there can be an answer to this and I don't think the hospitals on purpose want to put someone out and put them in a dangerous situation but I think they're at their wits end and and then when we get the folks that we're not qualified to take care of and know we're not qualified to take care of and sometimes don't even have a bed available then we're at a wits end you know we're, what do we do what do we do so we need to get together and, and think of some solutions. Now, University Hospital finally wrote me today with information on that October 4th incident at the beginning of that report. They say that person went to the emergency room multiple times that day, was screened and treated each time, and was removed off the property because he became aggressive. They say he went back into the ER again after that photo was taken. I've been trying for months to get an interview with University Hospital about this issue. In an email to me, University Hospital says it invests more than $4 million to assist the homeless population. And you can read their entire statement. It's with the story right now on wave3.com.